Hi, my name is Dimona and I'm a third year MFIS theoretical physics student, originally from Bulgaria. Hi there, I'm Kenzie and I'm studying the MFIS astrophysics program and I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland. I'm Robbie Peel, I'm a final year MFIS physics with meteorology student at Edinburgh and I'm originally from Macclesfield. Hi, I'm Ella, I'm a second year MFIS astrophysics student from Scotland. Hi, my name is Ananya and I am from India and I study BSc astrophysics here at the University of Edinburgh. I'm Emma from Italy and I'm studying MFIS with a year abroad. So physics is a fascinating subject to study. We learn about how we understand the universe while learning problem solving skills that will be really useful for our future. My favourite part of my degree so far has been able to answer questions that I used to have as a kid in much more depth with quite a lot of more complex maths. Like what is the purpose of differentiation and why are matrices important? I really enjoy being able to see how closely what we're doing is connected to what is actually happening in modern physics. So Edinburgh is really unique in that you can choose any subject for your elective. In your first and second year of university you get either one or two electives depending on what course you're studying. So in first year I did astrobiology and introductory astrophysics and this year I have been doing foundation Spanish courses which I'm finding really interesting and I think they'll be so useful for future years. So in first year I did chemistry and in second year I did astronomy and that's helped me figure out what kind of research I want to do after third year when I can finally specialise. I personally did stay within the physics um, realm for my electives but I have friends that took things like Russian and French. Later on your degree you're free to choose more advanced physics courses like nuclear physics, cosmology or medical physics that professors who are actually doing research in that field will lecture and it's very exciting that we get to take classes like that. You get taught by people who are absolutely world leading experts in their field. It's very engaging and interactive. They use anonymous voting polls and you know questionnaires such as you know top hat to make sure that the students are engaging with the material that they're giving them as well as for them to understand if the you know students are able to grasp the concepts they're teaching in class. There's always a lot of demonstrations and examples. It makes you feel like they really want you to learn. My academic advisor is someone who I can turn to whenever I have any sort of question and you know he's always there to help me out when it comes to you know choosing my optional courses, you know writing references what to do in terms of internships and going to conferences and it's just you know been a figure that got to know me on a more personal level. So up in the observatory we have groups that are studying stellar stuff, some galactic stuff, even groups that are working on the James Webb Space Telescope and getting to be lectured by these people and also see what they're researching is really exciting as an astrophysics student. You really get the sense of the university as a research place as well as a place of education. So I feel like the atmosphere here in Edinburgh is great, it feels really collaborative and everyone around is so friendly and approachable. What's really great about the degree is in your first year specifically, the tutorials from lectures are really, really large, so it's really easy to meet people and make friends on your course. So there's a variety of different platforms that you can connect with other students and contact them, and everyone is so helpful. And then on top of that, I think there's just generally a great atmosphere around the King's Buildings campus. I have built a really good group that we can you know, study together, and we have the facilities to do that. We have a common room for third year. Sit there, you know, have lunch in between classes and discuss problems together. Together. Edinburgh is a really lovely city to be in. A really good mix of being small enough that it can feel really comfortable, it feels very safe, but at the same time it's big enough that there's always something new, something exciting to do. Being an international student, this instantly became my home, you know, after a few months. The people are so friendly and very supportive. And there's also really nice green spaces like the Meadows and Arthur's Seat. Last summer I joined the weightlifting society. I'm someone who really likes going to the gym, so meeting people who also enjoy doing that was a great experience. I am a science writer for the Edinburgh Science Magazine. I'm also involved in the Yoga Society and the Physics and Astronomy Society. So I joined the Archery and Rifle Club. So I'm part of Hill Walking Club and once every two weeks we go up to the Highlands and it's just such a great way to like get to see Scotland, get to explore it. And then in terms of societies, I'm part of a couple. One is called Best Buddies, which is a volunteering society. And then another society that I'm a part of is called Engineering for Change. And I went to Lobitos in Peru to work on wastewater treatment. And it's been such a great way to kind of like apply skills that I've been learning, but also get to see something so different.